What's up everyone, AU5 here with another Serum Tutorial. Today I'd like to show you a powerful sound design technique that I haven't seen done yet. Serum has the not so obvious ability to use the noise oscillator as a modulation source. This means the amplitude of the waveform generated from the noise oscillator can modulate any modular parameter, just as an LFO or an envelope can. This is much like how voltage control works in analog synths. There is no high-pass filter on the noise oscillator, and therefore we can import waveforms with DC offset if we'd like. The ability to do this becomes very powerful, especially when we use a tuned modulation source. The note C4 is the root key for the noise oscillator, meaning that an imported sample will play at its original pitch if C4 is played with key tracking enabled. To import a tuned wave cycle from a wavetable for use in the noise oscillator, we must render a seamless wave tuned to an octave of C. By setting our host tempo to 245.28 BPM, one 30 second note becomes equivalent to one wave cycle of the pitch C0. Let's render a wave for importing. We could use a wavetable, but to keep it simple, let's use a sine wave. Set your host tempo to 245.28. Let's create a MIDI note at C4, freeze track, flatten, and now let's cut out a segment. That, uh, don't forget to turn warp off, and let's duplicate this out a few times to make sure it's seamless. Sounds good to me. So now we're going to select one of our segments, increase the amplitude so it's normalized, hit Command J or Control J on Windows to consolidate it into a new audio file, and let's create a new track and a new instance of Serum. Open up Serum, and we're going to activate the noise oscillator. We're going to turn on key tracking, and now we're going to drag our newly formed wave into the noise oscillator. Alternatively, we can open up the Serum presets folder and create a custom folder in the noises folder to have immediate access to our own noises. So let's turn up the level knob to make sure that we can hear that the noise is in tune with our other oscillators. Sounds seamless and it's not phasing, that's good. To ensure higher fidelity of the wave, we could import a lower octave of C and then transpose the pitch of the noise oscillator up however many octaves. Uh, the percentage value of the pitch knob actually shows semitones, i.e. a noise pitch value of 60% is a plus 5 octave transposition. Now we can start using our tuned imported wave as a modulation source. For convenience, I have already imported a sine, sawtooth, and square wave into my noises folder. Right click on the parameter that we want to modulate. In this case, let's use sync. Simple saw sync, right click, go down to mod source, and select noise OSC. This works great for key synced modulation of warp, filter cutoff, resonance, unison blend, level for amplitude modulation, as well as many other effects parameters such as delay and depth knobs in the course effect. So let's hear how it sounds like if we just use it on sync. Right now the amount is maximized so it's a pretty drastic effect. As we turn this down, we can hear a more subtle effect. You can see it modulating although it can't refresh as fast as the, waveform is mod as the waveform is modulating it. So let's transpose an octave down on the keyboard and turn the octave up on the oscillator itself so we can hear, um, so we can hear the effect better. If we go into the matrix and select macro 1 as our aux source, now we have full control over the range of the amount of this effect. Very cool, let's see how it sounds like with unison detuning. We can do this with any warp effect. Some will sound more profound than others. Here's another example. I have envelope 2 modulating the cutoff of the low pass filter. And I have the noise oscillator with the amount mapped to macro 1 modulating the cutoff. If I increase the resonance, you can hear a more profound effect. 
And if I also increase the octave, you can hear more profound effect. Very neat. Let's see how it sounds if I modulate the pan with the noise oscillator. Very cool stereo effect. Nice. Here we have a square wave with a chorus enabled. Let's create a static chorus effect just like in my last tutorial. So we turn all the parameters down, turn the filter up so it's off, turn the mix all the way up as well. And now let's modulate the delays to the noise oscillator. And let's use macro one as their aux source. Let's turn the octave up and let's use some unison detuning. What we've created here is a phase modulator, which is an FM like effect that Massive is well known for having. Let's start with phaser. Very neat. In my opinion, the real power of this effect comes into play when we use it in conjunction with a different audio source than Serum's oscillators. With Serum effects and MIDI routing, we can do all the same modulations, but with audio from another synth, such as Razor or Operator, for instance, a non-synthetic sample, or even live input audio. So the sound design possibilities are endless. Here we have a simple bell patch from Operator. Let's say we want to phase modulate this with Serum effects. So we'll drag Serum FX onto here, but first we want to create an instrument rack and use the external instrument effect to route the MIDI to the Serum FX. So you want to set your MIDI to the track that uh, Serum FX is on and then make sure that it is sent to Serum FX. So now when we play a note, we should see it on this transfer curve. Next thing we want to do is load up our tuned noise sample. In this case, let's use a sine wave again. Uh, key track enabled. Make sure it's in tune. Now let's use the phase modulation. Noise oscillator. Noise oscillator. Echo one. Filter. Filter cut off. My only wish would be for Serum to someday have the ability to use audio input as the noise oscillator so we can modulate parameters with control voltage or a live external source. Duda, if you're watching this, have a think. Anyway, stay creating and stay inspired. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any suggestions or other ideas for using this powerful technique.
Thanks for watching. So sick.